Hi, it's Natasha with Trader Joe's List, and I did a very special haul today because my nieces are coming to visit this weekend, so I got to get a bunch of kitty foods. I think that's how you say it. I got a bunch of kid food, but then also food for me, and I spent $141, so let's jump into this two-bag haul. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and I'm also going to snack some things, so it's going to be good. All right, so this haul is super exciting because I just like, I bought things that I usually can't buy because it's basically for my nieces. Um, and that's always fun when you have little kids in town because then you can feed them. So a lot of this is for me, but a lot of it's also for them. So I'll specify what's for them. I got the Bomba Puff Peanut and Corn Snacks with Hazelnut Cream. I think my nieces are really gonna love these based off your guys' review, these are phenomenal. So we're gonna put that over there. I'm gonna like separate it in a their pile and a me pile. Uh, we'll see how long that goes. I picked up cold brew coffee bags. Now these are not for my nieces because that would just not be okay to give like a nine year old and a four year old coffee. But these are for me and my sister who will be here this weekend. Um, I love cold brew coffee. So I don't drink a lot of coffee. I drink coffee on the weekends before I go on a bike ride um, or during the bike ride. I don't really have it during the week because I'm already running very anxious. That's like my baseline. And so it just like heightens it. So unless I have something to channel that anxiety into, it's, it's matcha for me, it's a lot of tea. Um, but I do love cold brew. Cold brew is less acidity than a hot coffee. So it's a lot better on my stomach. When I have hot coffee, it makes me feel like I'm hungry all day. And it's like this unsettling feeling that I like, I can't get away from. But cold brew doesn't do that for me. So I'm gonna try the cold brew coffee. Um, it looks pretty easy, just place two cold brew coffee bags in a pitcher, seven cups of water, place in a refrigerator for eight to 12 hours. We're gonna remove bags and then, oh cool. So this will be, maybe I'm gonna order like a pitcher or something off the internet so then I can do that appropriately. Um, gluten free English muffins, these are for me during the week. I like to make my sandwiches with these. They're just like the perfect sandwich bread once toasted. When they're not toasted, don't eat them. Um, I don't know if these are for me or for my nieces, but I just love the ABC bars. I actually had one in my little, um, like if you guys are familiar with cycling gear, <laughs> you wear like a bunch of spandexy lycra. You guys know how cool the outfits are. Anyways, I have a lot of them. And they've got little built-in pockets in the back and I have one of these in my fridge. So I took it on my ride this past weekend and I was like, oh, I forgot how much I love these. Um, so these are great as a child snack and as an adult snack. So we're just gonna, Set those in the middle. I also picked these up. This coconut brings chocolate on a date bars. This just sounds like something kids would like. Dates, almond butter, coconut, unsweetened chocolate, cacao powder. And I think I may have tried these a long, long, long time ago. So I'm gonna revisit them. They're, they're kind of tiny. I feel like this would be a great snack for my nieces. I want, when they come visit, I want them to think about all the fun food I have. That's how I was with my aunt growing up. So, here we go. Oh wow, that smells very chocolatey. My mouth is watering excessively, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's so good. Mmm. What's making me say mmm the most is the cacao flavor. I love chocolate, obsessed with chocolate. I eat an embarrassing amount of chocolate a day. I, I'm not embarrassed. I think someone would be embarrassed for me if they saw, but I, I just love it. Um, one of these does have 15 grams of sugar, but there's no added sugar. So it's coming from the dates, um, date paste. There's almond butter, corn, sorry, almond butter, coconut flakes, unsweetened chocolate chunks, cocoa powder. I'm a, I'm a big fan of these. Wow. I'll put this in the knees pile, knees pile even though it's more of an in-between snack. My nieces love these chocolate croissants from Trader Joe's. Obviously they're from Trader Joe's because that's just where I went. <laughs> but you, you have to let them proof, which is let them rise overnight and bake. So it's kind of like a science experiment, except it's the easiest one ever. You just put them on a, on a like a, what I'm something like a cookie sheet and let them poof. Um, and then you prop them in the oven, 350 degrees. So we'll, we'll take some photos this weekend, but they like these, so that's what they're gonna get. Um, I got some 100% dark chocolate. 
This isn't for everyone. This is not for everyone. I like dark chocolate at all times of the day. Now, I don't want to eat dark chocolate at night because there could be a lot of sugar in it or just any sugar. I try to stay away from at night. It keeps me up. So this dark chocolate, I really like. And what I'll have it with, I, I have dry farm wine, so they're really low in sugar. Um, so a little glass of red wine with some dark chocolate and it's so good. It's good for you. It's good for your soul. Everyone wins. I got some sunblock because kids are coming, but also because I'm the fairest of them all and I go through a lot of sunblock. I burn a lot. Well, if I don't wear sunblock. What I've been doing lately is like trying to get a base. So I'll go lay out for like 20 minutes and then be like, okay, that's good. Sunblock time. I wanted soup the other day and I didn't have soup. So then I picked up an organic split pea soup and organic lentil soup. I like to have soup on hand. I've been really into cold plunges lately. So I'll go sit in like a really hot um, infrared sauna and then I'll get into an ice bath for like, you try and sit and see how long you can stay in it. And it's like the craziest feeling in the world. But when you get out, you could take a warm shower, but then it reverses some of the benefits of the, the cold plunge. And so I don't, so then I'm freezing. By the time I get home, I'm just like shaking. And you're like, why am I torturing myself? But that's why I wanted soup this week because I was so cold still from the cold plunge. I'm obsessed with, there's all these health benefits. It's crazy, you guys. If you're subscribed to my newsletter, which you can go to TraderJoseless.com, I include stuff about why I love cold plunges in it and like scientific um, research behind it. So you guys can see. Um, sweet potato, avocados. I also picked up mangoes. Back on the mango kick. Well, this, I'm going to try and feed all of these to my nieces and my sister. I will probably partake in a little bit, but I went a little mango crazy last week or so. I'm just going to dial it back. It's going to dial it back a little bit. Picked up some almond beverage and I got a pineapple. I didn't go to Trader Joe's for a pineapple, but I got one. I also think pineapple is a fruit that kids like. So I'm gonna do some research on how to cut this because I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to do it and only one right way. However, I will not cut it the way, what was it, Kylie cut it a cucumber? <laughs> How'd she do it? Like she held the cucumber and then did that, one of those motions. I'm not gonna do that. I picked up flowers. These are cute. I think my nieces will like this. I also like these. These are called unicorn gypsophilia. Philia? Not entirely sure how to say that. But they're all different colors. Those are really fun. I picked up some tulips, which my tulips from last week are still going somewhat strong. No, they're like a day away from needing to go into the compost. Um, I also picked up some hyacinth. I've been watching Bridgerton, and I get it, guys. I now can say it. Hyacinth. It's so easy. But I think I needed to, like, hear it used in conversation to get it right. But I picked up one, only one of those, because I, I don't know if my sister wants to walk into, like, flower land, how I always have it. So I dialed back to, like, smelly flowers. I picked up some jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. I picked up some freeze-dried strawberries. I put those in my magic spoon. This is for my nieces and my sisters. They love the Loco Quadratini. They're so good. I love them too. However, my gluten sensitivity says otherwise. But I, I can eat one or two and I'm fine, which is kind of a nice way to like gauge it. Um, my One of my nieces loves strawberry yogurt, so I got her the Greek non-fat yogurt, strawberry. 12 grams of protein. It has 11 grams of sugar, but of the sugar sugary fruited yogurts. That's actually one of the lower ones. I picked up Dorothy's Comeback Cow Soft Ripened Cheese. I haven't seen Dorothy's in Trader Joe's in forever, and they have the best cheese ever. Don't judge a cheese by its cover. I absolutely do. I just, ha I have to try this because it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Um, I'm going to use a steak knife to cut this because that was the first one I saw. Yummy. Their holy smokes cheese was so good. I don't know if you remember that from a couple years. Was it a couple years back? Time doesn't matter. Okay. I have the date bar flavor in my mouth, so I'm trying to get rid of this. Um, let's see. This is a cow cheese. And I guess we're just... It doesn't have a strong scent. I don't want to really eat the brine, so I'm just going to cut some of that off. Let's see. Mm. That reminds me of those 
way different texture because it's like kind of a medium textured cheese similar to it's not as um creamy as like a brie but it still has like a soft spreadable cheese feel to it but the way i bit into it reminds me of those little cheeses that are covered in red wax and you peel them as a kid i don't know i had a nostalgic moment for just a second but the cheese is it's it's a delicious flavor it's not too strong mm. wow that's good okay happy about that my sister and i will be eating that this weekend maybe some rosé will be involved we'll see um to go with the cheeses because i got another cheese i picked up some uncured apple and smoked salami make like a little cheese board for my sandwiches oven roasted turkey breast you guys can hate on me all day for the, buying this turkey breast but all it has inside of it is turkey and salt Go look at the ingredients and all the other turkeys and then you're gonna be like, we're buying the turkey that looks like bologna from Trader Joe's. Why is it so round and circular? I don't know. But then pair it with some jicama wraps and you have a nice little snack. I'm revisiting these. I used to buy these all the time and then I don't know how they got out of my, um, my loop of, my brain is like kind of working today, kind of not. Um, <laughs> these got out of my cycle, my Trader Joe's cycle. Um, high protein veggie burgers. These things are phenomenal. You can toast them. They've got 26 grams of protein, four grams of fiber, and let's see. Now it has 13 grams of fat, but only one gram of saturated fat, and that is coming from, you guys, I'm sorry there is canola oil in these, but I like them because they're packed with protein. They're great. If you want to air fry them, you can put them on a salad. You could just eat it plain, but I'm all about the 26 grams of protein. So good. With. yellow onion sweet potato another one um, I've been really enjoying air frying sweet potatoes peel it cut it in half then cut it into little like so like cut it in half and then you're gonna have two halves then cut the halves in half and then cut them down long ways if that makes sense you're gonna get like little triangle shapes not triangles but like somewhat and then I just get the avocado oil spray spray them on a little bit of salt toss it Air fry it, 12 minutes, 450 degrees, delicious. If you saw my story yesterday on Instagram, I did that for dinner last night as part of my dinner. I got the children, is that what I'll call them now? Instead of my nieces, the children. I got them string cheese, and then I thought, I should buy myself string cheese. I haven't had string cheese in forever. So I picked up the light string cheese. I'm trying to like get just healthier snacks because I have some, what happens is I'm usually like really good at like moderating my eating. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then little snacks here and there. But every once in a while I go off road. And what happens with that is I'm eating a lot of snacks because brands send me things. And then sometimes I just get in a bad habit of like eating four cookies after lunch when that should be like not the case. So I'm trying to just supplement with healthier snacks that keep me full to where I don't think about my next meal at least for a couple hours. Um, so string cheese is a good one because it has eight grams of protein, some fat, so it'll, a little bit of fat. I got the light string cheese. So I wanna see how well it strings. Let's see if I can get this open. I've also found that like just drinking a big glass of water after I eat helps too. Um, and then I get my water intake for the day. String cheese. String cheese doesn't look like the most natural thing in the world, but but it's, that's a pretty good string cheese. Mm. Okay, 60 calories, eight grams of protein. I like that. Mm. I'm also very hungry right now because I still need to eat lunch. Three jalapenos. A head of broccoli. I love making burned broccoli. Broccoli's so good. Oh, just love broccoli. A little bit of salt, olive oil, burn it, lemon squeeze, Parmesan cheese. Delicious. This is new, Blueberry Fields Hard Cheese. A complex and savory cheese bathed in a tart, sweet blueberry sauce. I need to try this. They have really went to, the, this package is very tight. Okay, but I have my, steak knife, which I don't want to hurt myself. Okay. Wow. You can smell the blueberry once you get the air to this cheese. Let's see if I can. 
Um, I was gonna buy some fish today, cod, mahi mahi, but apparently you guys have been watching my post because they're all sold out. So, okay. I know that's not how you cut, but I'm trying to do this quickly. Okay. Ooh, what did, what did that remind me of? Oh my gosh, I'm having like a moment where it reminds me of something. Ugh, that's so good. Something from the holidays. I don't know. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. This would be phenomenal on a cheese, cheese tray. I like it because the blueberry's not overwhelming and it tastes all natural. It's there, but it's not the, the star act. The star act is the cheese in itself with the blueberry. You know what I mean? For instance, if it was a banana cheese, all you would taste is banana. However, this has hints of blueberry that don't overshadow the, the, like, the nutty, caramely notes of the cheese. They did a really nice job on this. Blueberry Fields. I'm enjoying that. And one, one other item, vanilla beverage, almond milk, pick that up. I'm on the almond milk train right now. I know there's not a lot of almonds in it, but it's okay. So this was $141. You guys, thanks for watching me do this. I will post the full video, different sizes to YouTube tomorrow, and then this will be on Instagram on Sunday, and then hopefully my nieces eat everything I bought, or else it's all going home to my sister. But you guys have a great week. I'll see you next, next week.